Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver Shopee channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to do your red mod for standard WL Toys car transmitter. This tutorial is originally from Instructables.com and some of you say it is confusing. So I'll show you step by step how to do it with WL Toys transmitter. You need to do some soldering for this mod, but it is fairly easy. So don't worry too much about it. These are the parts you need. First, the transmitter, obviously. 10 kilo ohm potentiometer to adjust the rate, and 5 kilo ohm potentiometer to adjust trim. I can only find 4 kilo ohm in my local shop, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then some wires, 4 are enough. Here is a schematic with the dials pointing towards you. You can pause the video to write it down or download it from link in description. Now let's begin. First, remove the stickers from the top. and from the base. Then remove the handle grip. Now remove all the screws. There are 9 of them. You can see the board here. Now remove the board and try to identify where the throttle is connected to because the layout is different between board versions. My trigger is connected to the first plug here. V or positive is on the left and ground is on the right. Now cut the signal wire or middle wire from the plug. Now it is time to do the soldering. First, connect the signal wire from the trigger to the first pin on the 10 kilo ohm pot. Next is the middle pin from 10 kilo ohm pot to the signal on the board, or what used to connect to the middle wire of the throttle. For the last pin on 10 kilo ohm pot, connect it to the middle pin of 5 kilo ohm pot or pin 5. Pin 4 or first pin of 5 kilo ohm goes to V or positive. and pin 6 goes to ground. And it is done. Let's test it before putting everything back together. 
Lithium should be working. By the way, you need to find somewhere to put the potential meters. This is what I do. I made some holes on sticker plate on the top. Now I can put it back together. To adjust the dual rate, first adjust the red pot, then adjust the trim pot. This is the result. One thing to keep in mind, this version of transmitter doesn't hold the setting, and when I turn it off and on again, it loses the adjustment. If this happens to you, every time before you turn it on, you have to make sure all the pots are at maximum position. Then, after you turn it on, you have to adjust the jewel rate again. It is quite a hassle, but it is the only way. What I suggest is, after you got it where you want, you can mark the positions of the pots with a marker. I use correction pen because it is easy to see, and it can remove and repaint it easily. Now you can turn it to exactly where you want every time. And that's it for this video. I hope this is helpful. I'll also upload the long version of this video, so you can see the entire process and how long it actually took me to do. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet and hit the bell icon to get notification whenever I upload a new video. You can follow me on Facebook to see what I'm doing between videos along with some quick updates. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.